I am Elder and I am a member of the scientific committee. We are the people who wrote the question. Hello, my name is Leila Askarra. I am a scientific committee member and I am a supervisor of the practical exam in the section of animal anatomy and physiology. My name is Lenka and I am doing the same job as everybody here in the jury. So it means that I go through all the questions, all the tasks, and I translate them to our national language. I'm from Czech Republic, so I have to translate it to the Czech language. My name is Nico Johansson. I'm the country coordinator for Finland, a member of the jury, and also I've been a part of the sub-jury or the subgroup meeting before the International Biology Olympiad. My name is Kim, and I'm an international jury member from the United Kingdom. We expect a wide range of knowledge uh, from foundational biological facts to a lot of uh, very creative approaches to biology. Uh, they need to synthesize this base knowledge into more facts that they have not encountered before, but which they can piece from the conditions of the task and what we've given to them. And that's pretty much it. We mainly look for very scientific approach to problems. We give them some data and they need to analyze it to arrive to conclusions. This way, our Olympiad actually trains people to how real science works, not just memorizing line by line, road by road, but looking into problems that have not been explored before, that they have not seen before. And this way, we encourage these young minds, young brilliant minds, to develop to their full potential. So my role in this Olympiad is uh, basically to prepare the exam questions in the experimental part and to conduct the experiment itself the whole day, the practical exam. Well, IBO uh, is an international competition, for sure. It's a high-level Olympiad. And uh, we uh, imagine that people coming here, students, are very well prepared and they are, have um, a good background in the bioinformatics, biochemistry, and in physiology as well, genetics, um, molecular biology. But basically, the questions con uh, constructed this way that uh, students who are basically able to uh, analyze the question to reason thoroughly, are able to perform well in this Olympiad. So we are testing them on their critical knowledge. So it's not enough to know the high school knowledge, but they really have to already touch the knowledge from universities. And they are all very gifted people, and they usually read a lot of books and train a lot with the mentors and also at their schools. We expect them to know a lot about biology, very different parts of biology, but we don't expect only them to know knowledge, but they need to uh, be able to think critically, they need to be able to think like a scientist uh, in different fields of biology. Uh, so it's very much of like understanding big concepts and not just knowing individual facts about different parts of biology. We expect them to have scientific thinking on a very high level, so many of the problems are designed in a way that we can th see if the student really has understanding of the central topics uh, behind the questions. So that's why we ask a lot of questions, but we also ask the questions in ways that highlight this uh, critical way of thinking behind the, uh, the questions. I think that the International Biology Olympiad is not just about knowledge, but about how you apply it. So a lot of students may have good biology knowledge, but the most excellent ones will know how to apply it and how to recognize things and how to analyze things. So it's not just what you know, but also how you do under pressure. So the best students will have great endurance, 
they will be able to work well under pressure and of course they are great analytical thinkers. We are assessing people who will be the best future scientists.